Hello everyone, my name is Shreyas and today I'll be showing you how to export data from MySQL Workbench into MongoDB. I already have MySQL Workbench opened up here and as you can see I have some information in here already. The first step is to specify the database from which you would like to export the information and the idea is to export each of these different tables as JSON files and then import those JSON files into collections in your MongoDB instance. Document databases such as MongoDB actually use JSON files or more specifically BSON files um, in order to store records just as tables and rows store records in a relational database such as MySQL. So without further ado, I'm going to right click on the table of interest and select table data export wizard. The wizard, spec uh, the wizard selects all the different columns in the table by default, which is what we want then specify a location for this file. I'm going to call the file bowl and simply store it on my desktop and I'm going to specify that it's a JSON file that we are exporting. Hit next. Perfect. The second step is to open up MongoDB and create a database and a collection into which we can actually export or import this data. I'm going to call the database um, bowl and let's call the collection name test. We don't expect any information to be here by default but just to confirm bowl test um, and there is no information as expected. The way to actually put information is to use command prompt and write a very simple line of code. The line of code is um, actually mongo import database and we specified the database name as bowl and the collection was called test I believe and we're going to write JSON array because this is a JSON file that we are importing and then simply specify the location in my case the location simply happens to be the desktop and the name of the file was bowl.json and there you go we have successfully imported 1344 documents and we can go back into mongodb and confirm that by hitting the refresh button and we see the information in here already you can alternatively also use mongodb shell instead of compass if you're more comfortable with that um, it's pretty flexible and there are many ways to go about doing the same thing, but hopefully this was of some help Please let me know if you have any further questions and I would be more than happy to elaborate on certain ideas uh, But thank you very much for your time and for watching really appreciate it guys. Bye